All right, guys, one thing I want to show you, pretty important. Before you take your boat out, I don't care if you have one person with you, 10 people with you, you can file a float plan very simply, just with your mother, with your wife, with a friend. Uh, if you're in New Jersey, you could have a friend in California. File a float plan with him. Just tell him where you're launching from, how many people you have, when you're expected back. Set up a time to check in. Right here, you can see, this is my mother. I'm up here in New Jersey. I stay with her when I'm up here fishing. I live in North Carolina. We had a check-in time of 9.30. So at 9.19, she says, off the water yet? I say, no, still fishing, all good. Okay, thanks. Now we're gonna check in every 30 minutes after this because we agreed to check in at 9.30. So about every 30 minutes after this, or I can give her another time. Like I can say, all right, 11, we'll check in again. And this person doesn't have to live close to you. It's just somebody who can call for help if you don't check back in. She has my number. She has my buddy's number. She knows we have three souls out here. She knows where we launched. We plan on staying in the bay. We are not going in the ocean. She doesn't hear from me by time. She'll try to call me. She'll call me over and over. If she doesn't get me, she'll try Tim. If she can't get Tim, she's on the horn. She's calling the police. She's calling the Coast Guard. She's gonna tell them where we are, where we launched, how many souls we have, and we need help. So it could save your life. And uh, it's so simple to do. There's no excuses, guys. So make sure you do that. Right, Rich? That's right. Better safe than sorry. Safety right. first. Water will kill you quick. Yes. Doesn't care. Uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>